Hello and welcome to Vimbu.com, a smart way to learn anything you want to learn. Today in this session, we are going to learn how to create a secondary index on the database table in SAP. So to create a secondary index, we need to get into a BAP dictionary. So we'll enter SE11, select the radio button database table and enter the name of the table on which you want to create a secondary index. Press change. There you are in the table. Now before I do anything over here, I want to talk a little bit about indexes. I want to make sure that everybody understand what actually indexes are uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the primary index and then what secondary indexes and then we'll see how a secondary index is created. So when you create a table, what happens is here we are just defining it in our dictionary. But in the database, there is exact copy of this table which is uh, created uh, and it is not just that table that gets created it is the copy of that table uh, or is also created and that copy is known as the index which defines the sorting of the data into it now when you define a table as you have defined in your dictionary we can see that we have two fields okay so we have a field called number uh, which is a key field and we have another field called zcomp name which is not a key field so defining a key field what we really mean is that this particular z number field is going to act as a unique identifier for my record so when i say unique identifier that means that my table will not have uh, a record uh, with the same number of uh, z number field now having said that this is not a sorting this is not the way data is going to store uh, data is going to pile in the table it is just the way data is going to be identified so i have not defined any way in which the data would be sort sorted into the table now that is something that system do it on its own and that particular way of sorting the data is known as indexes now primary index is something which is created on its own system do system creates it by default and uh, what that is it is a combination of the key fields plus some of the other fields which are non key fields plus one additional column which is a pointer to the real position of the table so ultimately what is happening is that when when you when the system creates an index it is creating a copy of the same table with the lesser number of columns which includes all the key fields plus some of the additional fields plus a field which is actually an identifier or a pointer to the real position of the record into the database table itself so what that helps why to create two records why to create two tables basically uh, indexing helps uh, in in the situation in which you have many number of columns so if we have a table which has around 100 columns and then we have a huge number of data the data needs to get sorted somehow the data needs to get saved with some sorting and that sorting is defined by a combination of all key fields plus some of the non key fields which the system things would be important in this table and that's that's all system generated we don't do it and then uh, another field would be there as an additional field and that would be a pointer to the real position so if you have a table that table might have a uh, few records and that might have a record at 10 position and in your index uh, uh, in your primary index you might have that record as the first record so basically your index is nothing but a copy of the existing table with a lesser number of columns plus an additional column which will have a pointer which will have a position holder for the real position of that record in the database so if you have a record in actually a table on, on 10th number so the primary index will hold it as first position but the pointer field of that particular uh, record in your primary index will have a value as 10 to show that this is a 10th record in the database table now what actually that helps is uh, this helps you to fetch the data faster now if you don't have any index then the system will fetch it on the basis of the primary key so th this will actually make it more complex uh, make it more tough for database to get you the data if the data is in a huge number if you don't have that many columns then it would work but anyways the primary index is there it is always there 
So now, uh, having said that, what primary index is, uh, you you have you know that there is a copy uh, inside the database table uh, inside the database of the same table with a lesser number of fields, which system has identified on its own, to to just to uh, give you a, a, a possibly best sorting, so that your your whole select query and your whole selection is optimized. But in some scenario, even that might not help. So if you have a fee, if you have if you have a table which has hundred number of columns and then you have a huge number of data and you use it very frequently, then you might not have that particular uh, primary key useful enough for you. It is still might take time. So what you will do is you will create a secondary index, which is again going to be a copy of the same table with the key fields plus uh, the lesser number of fields again, but that th those fields would be of your choice and then another field of as a, as a pointer to point to the real position of the record. So then if you do that and you create a secondary index, what actually happens is there is again a copy of, of the same table, database table, with uh, just 20 columns of your choice and the sorting would be done on the basis of those 20 columns. So now if you put a select query on the table using the secondary index, you will get a record uh, even faster but on the basis of those fields that you have. So generally when we make a select, uh, when we make a secondary index, we have those fields that we are going to use in our where condition normally in our program. And also before making any secondary index, keep in mind that you only make secondary index to the field that are huge, in, that have huge number of uh, uh, data, that have a huge number of columns, uh, and uh, that is going to be used very frequently. You don't put a secondary index to a table which is not going to be used very frequently because then you don't uh, don't really bother about the, the performance. Uh, you don't make secondary index to the tables which doesn't have many columns. For now, we will take an example of the existing table um, uh, which in which we have just two columns. So that's, that, that's not an issue. It is just to show you how you create a secondary index. So as you can see, you have these three columns, uh, these three buttons. We'll choose index and uh, we'll choose the create button as you can see over here. So creating of a second index is fairly simple. You just have to select the create button, uh, name it uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can leave the default name as it is or if you want, you can change it. Uh, let's change it. Okay, l let's leave it as it is and then say save. Uh, you are there uh, in the index creation. Name your index, I'll say test again as I'd normally do. Then you have these unique uh, radio buttons to identify that if you want your index to be dependent on some sort of database, you can even define that. But generally you leave it as it is, you leave it as non-unique uh, non index and you leave it as um, index on all database. You don't care about what sort of database uh, is underlying. Then you enter the fields. So if you put a, f uh, uh, if you put a uh, help, you'll get all the fields that you have. Now is the time to select the number of fields that you want to be, um, uh, to be used as an index and to be used in the sorting of the data. So you can feel you can choose as many fields. I'm choosing the one which is not there as a, yeah, the key field. It is just an example that I want to give. So I'll just say save and then I'll uh, activate it. Uh, once I activate my secondary index is there ready for me to be used. Uh, you activate it. You can come back uh, after activation and then check if it is running fine for you. Um, generally, this doesn't throw any sort of error uh, because all you're doing is you're just putting uh, the, the fields that you want. So now you're ready with your secondary index. You can come back and see if that is um, working for you. So you have a secondary index over here, which was not there earlier. The name of the secondary index is NAM. So you can now use this NAM secondary index uh, anywhere in any of the program and put a select query. Now, uh, there is one more thing which you have to keep in mind using these sort of um, secondary indexes and that is um, that uh, if the way you are putting select query earlier uh, on these uh, uh